Mystery Cushion Knitters and welcome to the final instalment of this year's Mystery Cushion Club. It's an incredibly exciting time because today you are going to be given the final pattern to complete your cushion. It's the lower back panel which I'm going to talk about in a moment before I reveal the title of the Mystery Cushion to you. So hopefully most of you have kept up with the project um, and you are now ready to knit that final panel. The final panel is called Caramel Latte. This is a striped slip stitch pattern um, in, in sort of a subtle blend of colours. Hopefully it's quite an interesting stitch for you to knit. I really enjoyed knitting this um, and over a large panel you can really kind of settle down and get very comfortable with the stitch and hopefully um, enjoy the knitting of it. Um, you are instructed to carry the yarns up the side of the work so uh, once you've joined in those three colours don't cut them off unless you are instructed to do so in order to thread on more beads. There are quite a lot of beads in this panel um, and if you were to thread them, pre-thread them all um, before you begin, uh, then you would find that they would uh, build up um, on the yarn that you're trying to work with and it would make it a little bit difficult, I think, to work. So I have sort of broken it down into segments where you will break some of the yarns, thread on more beads and then get going on the pattern again and hopefully you'll find that um, a good way to work. When you've completed your final lower back panel um, then you need to follow the finishing instructions um, to assemble all the panels together to complete your project. The very last thing you will do is to sew on six buttons to complete the project. So here it is, here is the project all sewn together. I guess yours looks pretty much like mine, hopefully. Okay, on the back here, there's that lower back panel, the caramel, caramel latte. And these are the buttons that I chose for my project. So I'm just gonna hold them closely so you can see. They're a medium sized shell button. Um, I I think they are 22 to 23 mils in diameter, millimetres in diameter. You could use any buttons that you that you have or you could go out and buy some to match the, the yarns. Um, anything really that you think suits the pattern. That's part of the fun I think of choosing your own buttons. That, that will make your um, cushion, although you've all knitted the same patterns, um, that will give it that little unique edge with your personalisation, with your own choice of fastenings. So, have you managed to guess the title of this year's Mystery Cushion? We've had plenty of clues along the way in my little letter um, puzzle that I've given you each month in the blog. Um, many of you have guessed it correctly and sent in your answers. Um, some of you may have already opened that little um, coloured envelope that has the woven label in and on that woven label is the title of the cushion. However, if you haven't done any of that, then I am about to reveal to you what the theme is and what the title is. So the title of this year's mystery cushion is Restore. So I'd like to talk to you now about the theme for the project, about the title and my ideas behind it and why I decided to create this design for this year's Mystery Cushion. So the past 18 months, um, perhaps a little bit longer now, um, the whole world has been affected uh, by the pandemic. Um, it's been a very difficult time for many people, um, people being in isolation, people having to shield. Um, and it's been a very unusual time as well, which has put a lot of people on edge, made a lot of people very anxious. Um, so this cushion is all about being cosy, being comfortable, being relaxed and, and restoring yourself, restoring your spirit, being cosy, relaxed and being in a good place. So with the seasons beginning to change here in the UK, um, it is beginning to get very much darker earlier on in the evenings um, and the weather is starting to cool, cool down. So this project being lovely and cosy and soft and warm, I thought would be the ideal project um, to keep you 
um, happy and relaxed and, and comfy throughout the, the, the season ahead. So it's all about being secure. It's being about being safe. It's being pampered. It's indulging yourself, feeling spoilt and making yourself feel feel good. And hopefully that is what this cushion um, will do for you when you can snuggle up to it on those um, cool wintry evenings. So the yarn choice then. Now, yarn choice is always a very important factor when I'm planning out a design. Um, I'm thinking about how the yarn behaves, how it feels. Um, do I need it to drape? I'd need that for a blanket, not necessarily for a cushion. Um, so my choice from the Rowan collection was their brand new uh, cotton wool. I nearly said wool cotton, which was a yarn they had out um, many years ago, sadly discontinued now. But this is a brand new yarn. It was last, uh, I think it was around last October they launched it, called Cotton Wool. It's incredibly soft and squishy. I just loved the feel of this and as soon as I started to sort of feel it and handle it um, I was thinking um, big oversized patterns, uh, comfortable cables, um, stitches that were kind of um, would make you feel cosy and warm, um, no, no harsh colours so a very soft colour palette uh, with the pale sort of blush pink, the cream, pale blues um, and those grey and sort of uh, brownish tones to the, the, that lovely mint colour mushy which um, uh, is, is super next to pale blues and creams and pinks. So the, the yarn was um, a, a sort of my, my starting point for the design as it really always is um, with all my projects. So I began the design with the um, front panel, um, the first square that I designed was the uh, cappuccino square where I wanted to play with these large cables with these um, sort of very soft twists happening um, within this fairly small square. So that the square being sort of 13, I think it's 13 and a half centimetres square approximately, um, meant that these big cables that, that, that filled that square um, looked even bigger really, looked even more cosier and, 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 and comfortable at the same time. When I was designing these cables, I was thinking of um, your big kind of winter oversized sweaters that you put on when it's really, really cold outside. Um, and of course those cable stitches, because of the way that the, the stitches cross over each other, do create extra warmth. So, so cables are all about warmth and comfort and feeling relaxed too. On the cappuccino square, the cables twist um, to the left and to the right. So there's a little bit of subtle difference there between square one and square nine. Um, whereas slumber, which is square three and square seven, um, those two squares are actually identical. I decided not to change anything there. So there's these little changes that sometimes happen in the cushion just to keep you not only on your toes, but to give it a little bit more um, interest too when you look at the overall design. Sweet Treats was inspired by all the things that you like to indulge in that, that are very, very naughty for you, like all your cupcakes and um, Victoria sponges, um, candy, um, hence the, the soft, um, subtle colours in the square um, and those stitched textures. There's a mixture of beads and then that kind of, um, it, the oversized kind of pearl, looks like a pearl, um, row going across um, which I thought looked like um, piped icing on cakes um, with the beads being like the sprinkles that you get on cupcakes so it was a very sort of delicious sweet square um, that I wanted really to give the idea of um, indulgence and, and eating all those things um, that you 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 eat to um, make yourself feel happy, make yourself feel good, cakes and, and candy and all sorts of things like that. There's two colourways for sweet treats. Um, I've just made a very subtle uh, change to the colours by swapping dolly and cuddle around. Um, everything else in that square, as far as I can remember, is the same. Just that change of colour, again, a little bit of extra interest while you're knitting um, and just making that square look a little bit different um, from one side of the cushion to the other.
Now marshmallows, um, I think you actually had the first marshmallow square in your first mail out. Um, and this is inspired by those lovely cups of hot chocolate that are um, either decorated on top with uh, marshmallows, sometimes some whipped cream too. Um, but this square is all about those little miniature marshmallows that you, you, you sometimes have on your hot chocolate. We have them in the cupboard here at home. Seth, my son, loves a hot chocolate with marshmallows, as I do too. Um, so this one was, was what this was inspired by. Um, now it uses the star stitch, which is a stitch I've used quite a lot in other projects in different ways um, to give um, different looks to that stitch. Um, and that's created by either changing the colours, putting stripes in, and in this case I added beads. Those beads um, really representing uh, the little sort of sprinkles of sugar um, that, that you sometimes have too, or, or sprinkles on top of your hot chocolate. So it's a super indulgent square. Um, and as you look at your marshmallow, marshmallow squares, there's two in the design, um, you can think about drinking that lovely big uh, mug of hot chocolate. The upper back panel is called Pajama Arama. You had this panel to knit in your um, previous mail out in the September patterns, mail out four. Um, and this is really um, inspired by pajama plaids. Now, I love a cozy um, set of pajamas um, when they're made out of that lovely soft. Um, fleece material or a brushed cotton. Those are my favourite when I was a child. I used to love brushed cotton pyjamas. Um, so this is this design here is based on that um, using um, the, the stripes going across the horizontal stripes which were hopefully quite nice and easy to knit but then the lines going vertically um, which are created by the Swiss darning. Now I did ask you in the, I think it was in the previous blog that I did, um, I said that the, the the name of that panel had some sort of connection and I just wondered whether anybody had picked up on that. Now, as a child, um, when I lived at home with my mum and dad and my two sisters, on the weekend we would always get all our drawing bits and pieces out, um, paints and pencils. Uh, mum and dad always had a big stash of paper because they were both art teachers. Um, so we had an abundance of, of, of mixed media that we could use for our drawings. And my dad would always put music on. He's a massive music lover, um, always has, has loved music and still does. Um, and he used to put various different CDs on and, and a, a, a CD or it was a vinyl at the time, back in the 70s, um, a, a vinyl that he used to play a lot was um, For Your Pleasure by the band Roxy Music. Um, and he, indeed, he was a big Roxy Music fan and used to put, put a lot of their re records on and we used to listen to them. And there was one track, not actually on that album, but it was um, brought out in 1974 uh, to promote that album. And it was called Pajama Rama. So that is kind of like a little tribute to um, Roxy Music and the, the, you know, the, the lovely vinyl that my dad used to play to us and that we used to sit as a family and enjoy. So that, that for me, brings back good memories, um, good childhood memories that are all part of this, this inspiration for being sort of about being cozy and warm and comfortable and relaxed and, and in a good place. And that's where I was um, when I think back to those, those days at home. The final panel, Caramel Latte, is the ultimate indulgence in, um, in treats. Um, it's one of my favourite drinks when I go out and have a coffee. Um, I just love it. So the, the idea behind that pattern was to try and uh, simulate the look of the, of the latte with the sort of creamy milk in it and those beads being the sprinkles of sugar on top of the caramel latte. Um, so, that is the final panel in the in the design, um, the one that you're knitting this month. So um, you may have already got your needles out. You may already be onto it, but I really hope you enjoy it. It's a nice sort of um, simple stitch, um, overall pattern, not too tricky once you get into the pattern. And hopefully you'll enjoy that right through to the very last stitch. So that brings me to the end 
of this year's Mystery Cushion and the final blog for 2022. Just before I go, I just want to uh, remind you that if you've enjoyed this year's Mystery Cushion, then the brand new Mystery Cushion adventure will happen again next June for another five months with a brand new design. It is very, very different from this year, um, completely different in colour and yarn and everything else. So um, I'm not going to talk about that now. Um, I will feed you little bits of information um, over the next few months and then we launch our applications for that on our web website um, at the beginning of March. Just keep an eye on your inbox because we will send you an email newsletter to let you know as soon as you can sign up. We do still have places on our 2022 Mystery Blanket Club. We sold um, many of the places. We're down to about the last 100 places or less um, now. Um, that is open until the 31st of December or when the club sells out. Uh, we start that new club on February the 1st. Um, so already the excitement is mounting um, with everybody that signed up. And if you want to be part of that journey, then pop along to our online shop and you can get your si yourself signed up right now. I would love you to join me. So I want to thank you all for taking part in this amazing mystery cushion adventure this year. I really hope that you've enjoyed the project and I hope that you continue to enjoy the knitting until your mystery cushion is completed. Um, then you can cuddle up to it on your sofa. I'm going to have mine downstairs in the front room ready to cuddle up to while I'm watching a good film with my sweet treats and my hot chocolate and of course my knitting. So until I see you again next year, please keep safe and well, continue to enjoy your knitting and have a super autumn winter. Bye bye everybody!